Welcome back, friends! Oscar here, and it's time for Exploration Part 2! Ooh, things just take a while in this game because, well, we want to learn everything we can, so... I haven't lost a parent yet, so I can't even begin to understand how you must be feeling. But even while you're standing still, the world keeps on moving. I always find that oddly comforting. I don't. I do not. Never ever do I feel that find that comforting. Alright, there you go. Next up... Uh, who? Oh! Dorothea! I've sung lyrics lamenting death many times on stage. But when something like this happens in real life... I'm lost. I don't know what to say. But... I do know this much. Sir Gerald must have been very proud to have you as his child. Oh, That's sweet. Alright, moving on. What the? What? What? <laughs> it's so weird when I do that. What the? What the what? Bernadetta? <laughs> what are you doing out of your room? Professor? I, um, I brought some flowers for Gerald. Oh, that's sweet. You're out of your room? <laughs> I think you should thank her. It's the yep. least I can do. Sometimes I feel like all I do is run away. Anyway, I'll go lay them out. Thank you. Thank you, Bernadetta. Thank you. Alright. There's the mother's grave. Oh, he got buried on top of her. Alright. Resting the warm embrace of cherished memories. So, Gerald's at top. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, Leonard. I slipped quietly into the vault and rummaged about, looking for anything we might find useful. There is a group of people who want to kill us, after all. What? This is no time for asking permission. Mm. I learned long ago that one can ask permission or forgiveness. It is rarely useful to request the former. Still, it appears the knights have already taken everything useful. There were crest-related objects I thought might be worth studying, so... <sighs> there you go again with that stern look. <laughs> of course I'll put them back when I'm done, assuming they bear no additional use. Regan Linhard, boy! Professor? Boy! You were in your professor. Okay, we did everything in this area. We just haven't done the stables, so let's go to the stables. Oh, hey! Alright. Hey! Hey! Right, okay, all's left is okay down this way and then the church. Okay. Take me to church, let's go. I actually do not care for that song. Ash and cereal, okay. Who is that over there? Who is this conversation? Hit the wrong buttons. There you go. Support. Huh? Oh, be all right. Yeah, we got Felix before that. Yeah. Oh, be with Seneth. Okay, interesting. We might have to in the next chapter. We might have to just settle and just do their things without having them on our team. Bag of seeds. Hey, Ash. What the hell you want? Not just Tomas, but Monica, too. We can't be sure who to trust anymore, can we? Who are these people, really? What do they want? Huh? I'm really afraid. Boy. <laughs> well, we don't have any land skill, so... You don't want to join a grieving man? Okay, fine. Fine, Ash. Fine. You're heartless. You're heartless boy. To my surprise, the ladies actually like Ash. There's there's some girls I know that like Ash. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ash? Ash is your pick? Alright. A lot of a lot pick Claude as well though, because of course Claude. Claude is all up on you. He wants that that D and Lady D. He really do. Ooh, over here. Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. He does have soft boy quality, yes. Okay, who- oh yeah, I said this before. Who would make the dad? Who would be a good dad out of all these kids? 
I don't know. Oh, goddess, hear my prayer. Please receive this beloved person. When the cold rain washes the body, when the bird and wolf announce the dawn, receive them into your blue blood, receive them into a twinkling star. That's a morning scripture from the Church of Saros. Lady Rhea taught it to me. I pray that Gerald is happy in the next world. Huh. Interesting. All right, moving on. I assume, okay, okay, back to the mothers. I assume Dorothea would not be a show mom because she's already understands show business. She already had her day in the sun. She doesn't need to project through her child. Let's do the notes. I don't know who'd make a good dad of the boys. Read them. Oh, it's Rhea. I'm occasionally asked to attend tea parties, but in truth, I do not care for hot beverages. I've considered waiting until it cools to drink, but I fear that would seem rude. You can just let it cool, it's fine. <laughs> Damn it! Fine, Rhea. Mercedes? I want to get better at cooking, but I don't know where to start. I wish I knew someone uh, who could help me. You should cook with Ash. You should check out Flane's grilling skills. Leonie might know her way around a skillet. Flane is a griller. Wow, you don't like Flane? Damn, girl! Alright. Alright, uh, here we go. I slept almost everywhere in this monastery, but lately I've been wanting to try sleeping outdoors. You know somewhere I could sleep under the stars? Uh, Archbishop's beloved Star Terrace. A chilly, ominous graveyard. A courtyard full of blooming flowers. Probably the Star Terrace, but... Yeah, do it. Strike it out! Alright, we're out. We're out. Oh my god, we failed hard. We failed everything! Woo! Apparently you wanted graveyard or flowers. Probably wanted flowers. Oof, we, we struck out. Need something. Apparently not. Soon. Can't upgrade any of these. Alright. We struck out hard. Alright, let's go fishing. And then we're gonna try to recruit Sedith. Looks like Catherine's not here, because yeah, she's with the knights. Shoot. Let's only do the the the, the other two. We're not gonna do the, the first three. Just the last two. Get us some money. Oh, yeah, we bought some. Okay. Oh no, I'm meant to get goldfish. Whoops. Excellent. Yes. Okay, since we're fishing, yeah. Who's the dad material? Raphael? Is Raphael number one dad? Hell no to Felix. Ignatz, he's not gonna even have any children. Uh, <laughs> uh Ashes Sauce Boy. Sylvain? I don't know. No, probably not Sylvain. Ah, dang it. Linhard is not not going to be father material. Um, I think Caspar would really believe in his child, which is good. Like, he'd be he'd be like, you can do it! All the time. All the time. Um... I think Lorenz... Ugh, Lorenz? Ugh. Uh, who would be... Who, who would be good? Who would be a good Faja? Oh, here we go, here we go. I, th I, I think we can all agree Mercedes number one mom. Damn it! Mercedes number one mom. Oh, God. Ferdinand would put so much pressure on his kid. Oh, God. So would Lorenz, probably, because they're both noble boys. Very noble boys. Claude, yeah. Claude would be a good dad. He'd be a chill dad. I don't know about Dimitri. I have no idea what kind of father Dimitri would be. I think Didoe would just... He'd be... He'd try to be a good father, but he'd spend so much time worrying. Well, who else is it? Who else is dad material? Did Eloise say he's got a daughter? I know he said he has a wife. I don't remember if Eloise said he's got a kid. Well, I'm talking about students here, so... 
I, I think we talked about every student at this point, right? As far as the dudes go? Is there anyone else? Eloise is the dead. <laughs> well, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, Platinum! Come on, Platinum! Yeah, make me that money. That's worth a lot of money right there. We want those. Freaking Sedith. Oh, God. Papa Sedith? No. No, no, no. Papa Sedith is actually Flane's father. <laughs> Whoop. Like, Seth is just is the boomer dad, basically. That's the meme. Out of the moms, it's Mercedes number one. Who's number two? Mercedes number one. Is it Annette? Is Annette number two? Just because it's Annette? Ah, I'm gonna waste the spade on her. Yep. We got one platinum, so that's not, that's not bad. That's already worth what we spent. Is there anyone else? I mean, okay, wait, 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 wait. I suppose Byleth, may, father or mother, probably would be a good parent. They'd be a very absent parent, it seems. This is an interesting line of reasoning. Just like, who would make a good parent? They don't necessarily need to all be parents, obviously, but if they were. Hmm. I feel like Ingrid would be a very boring mother. <laughs> I'm so mean to Ingrid. Shamir being a mother, that kid's learning the bow at three years old. And the dagger. Her kid's learning to be an assassin really early. That's. That's Super Assassin Child right there. Same thing with Catherine. She's making a warrior child. Catherine's making a super warrior child. Bernadetta is, is Izuku's mother. I, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. You might, be, you might not be wrong there. Hmm. She might be Miss Midoriya. You might not be wrong there. Yep. Doo -doo. Who's left? Marianne, I worry. Ah, let's do a herring bait. Um, who else? Who else? I think Leona would be just a, a good mother. For sure. Gives that impression. Now, Manuela is the wild card. I have no idea. She could be either be an amazing mother or a stage mother, or a very practical mother, or an absentee mother, or a big mess. I don't know. Oh god, what kind of mother would Edelgard be? Oh god. Yeah, Edelgard would try her best, and then, like, well, well, no, no, here's Edelgard. Edelgard tries her best, and when her kid stumbles, she's like, honey, 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 when I was your age, we were tortured for, for many years. So, I don't need any of your crap. Okay, um, then none of that worked out. Okay, so, we got one platinum fish, so that's not so bad. It's time to do the supports, and then do the trainings. I need to find sword teachers. Where's Gilbert? Oh, he's also a knight. So Gilbert's not around either. Who's gonna teach me swords? You're certainly not going easy on me. You fight like a mercenary, not a knight. You hunger for victory, pure and simple. Yeah. You may not be aware of it yourself, but I see it. Oh, Flame would be the sweetest mother. Can I take that as a compliment? Should I take that as a criticism? Indeed. Either way, he puts in D pro. <laughs> Knights ought to have some hunger. I've always thought so. They depend too much on their swords. Only when they're rested away do knights consider their hands and feet as weapons. That's not how it was for warriors of old. They weren't limited by their tombs. 
Victory is what matters, not the method of achieving it. That's the attitude to adopt. I detect that in your style. It is plain to see. That doesn't seem like praise. <laughs> Sounds like praise to me. Take it however you like. I believe the difference between us lies within that hunger. But where does it come from? From the start, I was aiming to win. Yet I couldn't defeat you. Then I remembered something you said before. By your aspirations? Indeed. I was raised to value strength above all else. Whereas you had a reason, an ambition, pushing you toward that hunger. So tell me, what was the reason? Why were you driven to become so strong? How do you say to live? There it is. To protect the people of Foodland. That might push him on a better path. <laughs> Spoken like a knight. That's not what I would have expected. So that is the source of your hunger. I suppose I must find my own. <laughs> we can find it together? <laughs> I'll help you. Ah. Uh... If we're to get along, I think not. I'll be content if you continue to train with me. Perhaps it will come to me as I swing my sword. Wow, I should have gone with the other one, apparently. Together? Okay, let's see here. Sports! Alright, Ferdinand and Casper. They only go to, to B. Alright, here we go. Caspar, I have been waiting. Ferdinand! Waiting for what? I am going to give you a lesson on the righteous path of the noble. Righteous path? What? You have a problem with my path now? You think you're more righteous than me? That remains to be seen. Wow. I heard you stopped a robbery in town the other day. Some despicable thief who was robbing an elderly shopkeeper. Rumor has it you didn't wreak as much havoc as usual. Hey now, I think you're underestimating me here. <laughs> When the thief showed up, the old shopkeeper was so scared that he could barely stand. I didn't want the guy to pass out, so I had to stay calm while handling the situation. Rather than fighting, I gave my own money to the thief and told him to get out of there. Or else. How, uh, magnanimous of you. The thief fell for it and left the shop. That's when I chased him down. There we go. I got my money back and gave that thief a good beating. He won't be back here anytime soon. Ah, so you walloped the scoundrel. That does sound like you. I am finding this story more plausible. Nevertheless, I think... Hold on. <laughs> now it's your turn. I heard a very interesting story about you recently. My turn, eh? Let's hear this story then. The way I heard it, you punched a foreign soldier right in the middle of town. Stop, stop. I know what you are getting at. <laughs> but you have the wrong idea. Let's hear your version then. I had been browsing for weapons at a rundown stall. Suddenly, a man seized the stall's owner and started dragging him away. Someone with a less generous spirit might say the peddler had it coming. His wares were quite inferior after all. But without a moment's hesitation, I leapt to his aid and soundly defeated the goon. Well done. Sounds exciting. It was nothing, really. Anyway, the old shopkeeper let me in on the details. He said that he was a novice trader, tricked by a noble into selling low-quality goods. That ruse was about to come to light, so the noble had sent a mercenary to keep the shopkeeper silent. So that's what really happened. I just heard you snapped and attacked some noble servant. I figured it was worth asking about. <laughs> well, I won't deny it. I forgot my rank for a moment and let my instincts take over. Is there something wrong with that? It sounds a little like something I would do. <laughs> and your, uh, gentle approach to handling that robbery. That sounds like something I might do. You were not overcome by your impulses. You kept a cool head. For the most part. I think we're starting to rub off on each other. Hmm. Always looking for a way to defend justice and to lift each other up. Partners in justice, eh? Well now, that I can agree to. Make out already. Make out already. <laughs> Alright, okay. They were just going on each other on that one. Okay, let's see. Ferdinand and... Oh, Marianne. Part two. Oh, God. I want to see how this goes. this lovely day, Dorte? 
everyone seems to be in such good spirits. Marianne, do you have a moment? Oh, Ferdinand, what do you need? I have been thinking about what you said. I didn't mean to upset you. You should just ignore me and... You misunderstand. It is not that you upset me. Honestly, you mystify me. You are a noble, and yet you do not wish to be one. Is that not so? I did not expect to hear that from the daughter of Margrave Edmund. But I'm not actually his daughter. Oh. He's a distant relative. We share very little of the same blood. But still, you come from a noble lineage, do you not? Oh, no. I'm just a minor noble from the countryside. Minor though it may be, you were born into a noble family, which means you are a noble too. We did not choose to become nobles. We were born into the nobility. I understand, but that's why... Why I said I don't care to be responsible. I had no say in the matter. Marianne, I... My parents and I have suffered because of this bloodline and crest. Even so, I am prepared to do what I must as the daughter of a noble family. But to be told that's still not enough, I... I just... Ugh. I... I see. I will not pretend to understand. But you should try to calm down a bit. Certainly things did not turn out the way you had hoped. But the conditions are such that... The conditions? Those will never change. There's nothing to do but give up. Please just leave. Ignore me. <sighs> there will be no convincing you. Very well. I will go. Jesus! Oh, goddess, why did you curse me with such suffering? Jesus! Okay, all right. New goal. We gotta find someone to bang Mary. To marry Marianne. Not bang. Marry her. Someone who will make her not suffer. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Wow, that's C for Ferdinand. Jesus. These two. Hey, Raphael. You heard a train? Hey, Caspar. You work your muscles almost as much as I do. Of course. Everyone knows that if you skip a day, you lose three days of work. Ain't that the truth. Let's get to it then. Oh, man. <sighs> That's probably enough for today. <sighs> you might be right. I'm exhausted. You know, I really envy you, Raphael. You're huge. I know I'm big. Everyone knows that. What are you talking about? <laughs> well... I'm not very big, but I've always wanted to be. That's why I train so much. I just don't know how to bulk up. Is that all? I know how to fix that. Really? You gotta show me. More chicken. Follow me. Go into the kitchen. I go into the kitchen. Huh? You just led me to the dining hall. That's right. Now sit down and eat up. We're just gonna eat? Yep. Eating's the best way to get bigger. It's not exactly you gotta eat, and you gotta train. Doing both enough, and you're sure to grow. Well, I always thought I was a pretty big eater, but maybe I wasn't eating enough? Or not often enough? Probably both. Look at my plate compared to yours. Now this is a meal. <laughs> Whoa, your plate looks like a mountain. If that's what I gotta do, then I'm gonna eat until I can't anymore. I'll eat until there's no food left. Uh-oh. That's the spirit. Come on. Let's go clear out the pantry. Oh, let's do it. I'm gonna eat till I can't move. Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, I have concerns. Do those guys only go to B, by the way? Those guys need to go to A. Why is there no A for these two? Those boys need an A. Well, Felix and Ingrid, here we go. Hello. Oh! Oh, hello. Have you been there long? I was absorbed in this book. Another silly legend? First of all, they're not silly. And second of all, no. It's an essay that speaks to uncommon and challenging battle scenarios. I've been researching such things since you proposed your unique strategy. Listen to this. Your commander gives orders that put your hometown in extreme danger. 
Do you carry out the orders or protect your hometown? What nonsense. I was talking about real world tactics, not some dumb ethical question. Whatever your personal feelings on the matter, I see similarities between such tactics and these dumb ethical questions. I haven't read beyond this one, but I think the obvious answer is to follow your commander. Oh. Disagrees. The duty and pride of being a knight demand that you follow orders, regardless of your own feelings. But if I were put in such a position, I don't know how I'd fare. In fact, were someone to carry out those orders, I know that I'd attempt to stop them. Stop bothering with all this. You're not meant to be a knight. Whoa. Go find a husband. Wow. Okay, Felix. Jesus. Excuse me? You heard me. I know you hate the ideals of chivalry and pride. So much so, you prefer to escape your duty as your family's heir. I want to say that's an aggressive way to say for her to marry him. You have no right to criticize me for my ideals. Perhaps not. At least I know not to heedlessly obey orders. I know not to romanticize blind obedience. My brother taught me to think for myself. Don't you dare bring Glenn into this. Ooh. You're right. Forget it. Well, that's rough. Damn, that's B? Jesus! Uh, what's A with these two? Well, we gotta get A with those two. Damn! I wanna see what the hell comes up next with that. Like, don't bring up Glenn. It's never been the same since he turned into a frog. Okay, let's see here. Alright, so we're trying to get the other people. So, let's go focus set at the minute. I'm pretty sure that's the first time they've mentioned Glenn in this game. I'm guess so Glenn's his brother and I'm guessing something happened to him. I assume his brother got murderated. Or he died following orders or something. First Tomas, and now both it was as if thinking how they met. Okay. Yeah, lost Adams. I'm sorry. Yes. There we go. Mine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You couldn't have lost two things? Alright. Are we at B yet with you? But I think I'm already at B with him, aren't I? I am! Whoops. Uh, stop talking to this guy. God, I'm already at B with him. Alright, let's see. Who's next? Uh, Ignat's last. Let's go see Ash. Wait, do we have Ash at B already? I think we have Ash at B already. Yeah, we do. So uh, we're done with Ash. Okay, no Ash. Professor. Ash just needs to come around. Zero. Can I even recruit this boy? I don't think I can. I don't even. I don't have a thing with him anyway. Um. Oh yeah, Alois isn't around either. Jeez, all they're they're all gone. So who's over here? Dimitri can't be recruited. Leone is already up. So it's Ignatz and who else? Just Ignatz? Oh, Lorenz. Lorenz and Ignatz. We don't even have C with Ignatz. Jeez. Catherine's not around. We can't get Hilda up, which is so frustrating. So, I guess we're working Ignatz and Lorenz. Okay. Go do Lorenz. Ignatz is going to be last. Alright. He likes flowers, so... There is I do not if there is... Yes. Here, let's see. Oh, lost items first. Mm. Mm. Alright. Flowers it is. You like pitcher plants? How kind of you. Oh, you like coffee? How kind of you. You like board games? How kind of you. <sighs> you like exotic spices? How kind. Oh, this has gotta work for him. How kind of you. No? Alright, that's a surprise. Okay, what we got here with supports now? I guess it would show if you have. Okay, keep there going. No, I do not know if there is more gifts. You like floral, right? That's for ladies. Uh, fishing foot? No, probably not. Um, you like gems? How kind of you? No. Well, I'm done with the ladies, and this is probably a lady thing, so How just keep going with this. How there we go. We got him to B. All right, good. Lorenz at B. Okay, so now let's go check out Ignatz. We gotta get Ignatz to even A, uh, C, so... Alright, here we go. Oh, professor! 
Don't at the wrong thing. Yes. Oh no, lost item first. Boy! Oh! Okay, the goddess one was his, okay. One thing, alright. You like picture plants? Thank you Like a uh, picture plant? Thank you. I just go down the line. You like floral adornments? Thank you very much. Nope. You like floating fish? Thank you very much. You like baked goods? Thank you very much. You like gemstones? Thank you very much. Nope. You like smoked meat? Thank you very much. Alright. That's gotta, that's gotta be enough to get in the sea. Yeah, that got in the sea. Alright. Let's go tackle the rims and then Ignatz and then. Uh, we got a little bit of time to do the teaching part at least. Professor. We'll do battles next Professor, episode. Have you been looking for me again? No, I haven't. I am very busy, you know. I must insist that disruptions for light-hearted chats of this kind be kept to a minimum. I've been getting more complaints. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what did I tell you about falling victim to such salacious and slanderous rumors? As I've told you, there is obviously a conspiracy against me. There is no manner in which I could possibly be considered bothersome. Sure thing, bro. The girls actually do seem bothered. Professor, I assure you, you have been deceived. My adversary has poisoned the hearts of these ladies against me. The plot goes deeper than I thought. <sighs> this could become a serious issue. All right, let's not get carried away. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Jeez. Please understand, Professor. I am not some scoundrel out for conquest. I am attempting to fulfill my duty as heir of House Gloucester. It is my responsibility to continue our noble line by finding a suitable lady to be my wife. It is a rigorous process. My family has the very highest standards for appearance, grace, temperament, and pedigree. So commoners are excluded? Typically, yes. Even if others are sometimes critical of that notion. For the nobility, marriage is not merely a union of individuals, it is also a union of families. It would not benefit House Gloucester to be tied to a family of powerless commoners, would it? To achieve supremacy, it is necessary for my line to be tied to that of an influential family. That is the best path to peace and prosperity for all of Fodlan. So as you can see, the fate of the whole world rests upon my shoulders. Okay. That's quite an obligation. If it is a burden, it is one I am all too familiar with. We nobles are born to this duty. That being said, to avoid misunderstandings, I shall restrain myself until things calm down. <laughs> I would rather not cause trouble for you, after all. Dear God, who likes Lorenz? Does anyone like Lorenz? Has anyone ever given Lorenz an S rank? I swear to God. <laughs> Oof. Mm, Oof. That's so. Wrong way. Um. Oh. Everyone, everyone's gonna have someone they end up with at the end of the game. Who is Lorenz gonna end up with? Who do we decide that part? Like, or do we just kill Lorenz? He's not of our main faction, so I don't actually know if you can recruit these students later or not. Hmm. Or you can just kill them. I have no idea. All right, I'm just kidding. I'm I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Ugh, boy, okay. I've decided on the composition. Composition? That's right. The composition for my next pay. <laughs> Wait, professor? Hey there. How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? No. Nope. Uh, no. I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh. Oh, we're still so killing Ignatz. You paint? Well. I've thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree, set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... a hobby of mine, you might say. Everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. My hobbies is murdering people. No, none. 
I kill. Oh, well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your mind. Think about it. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling refreshed. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Will do! <laughs> ah, why is that not an option? Why is that not- <laughs> Kidding. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion. A frivolous pastime. Um, I think I ought to go back to my quarters now. If it's all the same to you. Bad boy ain't right. Okay. Back to Laurent. Um, Ignatz. Let's get him to B if we can. I shall now dump more gifts on this boy, who deserves none of them. But I must collect them all. Even the worst. <laughs> get him. Alright, do you like armored stuff to use? Thank you very much. Uh, do you like training with No way. Um, this is for me? <laughs> Are you sure? Right? Okay, hunting dad? You like to hunt, boy? Thank you very much. Alright. You like watering gardens? Thank you very much. Alright. You like riding? Thank you very much. Alright. You like whetstones? Thank you very much. Alright. You like tea? Thank you very much. What are your likes, boy? Do you like style chair clips? Thank you very much. Apparently? Alright. Legends of chivalry? Thank you very much. Oh, you like that hair clip again? Thank you Let me give you another hair clip. Thank you very much. Alright, see about it now. Nope. I'm scared. He's getting the rest of my gifts. I'm almost out of gifts, so. Thank you. For Thank you. The goddess statue? Thank you so much, Professor. Ceremonial sword. You collect so you collect swords, boy. I'm what? Scared. Whoops, wrong thing. All I'm right. Scared. I'm running out of gifts here. Thank you. For Thank you. I'm not giving him the last one. Oh, there we go. We got it. Okay. So we're going to talk with Ignatz and that'll be it for this episode. In the next episode, we do all the things we're planning on doing. Dang, I didn't expect everything to take so long, but it did. This is how it is. So there it is. Talk to Ignatz, and that's it. And with that, we will have every student in our grasp. Eventually. Like, double check. Yep, B. B. Can't get her to anything, and I want her, but I can't get her. B. 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 I don't know. B. Eh. Rhea. <laughs> don't even have C with Rhea. Jeez. Guess we can get Rhea. All right. Time to sneak off and do some painting. Sneak off? Oh. Professor, such lovely weather today, huh? You went in the open, boy. I was, uh, just about to go for a walk. Look at the teacher's face. It's like, hmm. Why are you bringing paper? What, this? No, it's, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I'll admit it. I was going to do some painting. You remember the place where we talked before? I've been painting the scenery there. Painting's not illegal, boy! I'm still keeping up with my academics and training, of course. I just paint in my spare time, as a change of pace. I'm not accusing you. You don't have to hide it, boy! Oh, I don't? Uh, well, yes. Maybe you're right. I may have gotten ahead of myself. I'm sorry for panicking there. Honestly, I'm just worried that my father will find out that I've been painting. Oh, there it is. I'm not gonna tell him. I will, but I'm not gonna. Maybe. Of course. Why would you go out of your way to tell him that? Completely illogical of me. But it seems I've developed a bit of a complex about it. My father's not a fan of my artistic pastime, you see. You know, I think you're right, Ninjax. Everyone's got something wrong with him, besides Raphael. <laughs> He's all with his head in the right place. We're a merchant family, and my older brother is set to inherit the business. As for me, my father decided I should be a knight. That's why I'm at the academy. Painting won't help me become a knight. It's a waste of time. <clears throat> is that why you feel guilty about it? Well... Yes, 
I feel like I'm betraying my parents. Because you are. I hear the business has been slow for them over the past few years. If I become a knight for an influential noble house, I could use my connections to help support them. My father was determined to send me here. He must have been, considering the enormous amount of money he spent. I don't think I'm well suited to being a knight. My parents sent me to the academy for their sake, not my own. When I think about how hard my family is working just to stay in business, how can I sit idly by? All of which is just to say that painting will have to remain my little hobby. Nothing more. Not that I could make a career out of it even if I wanted to. That's just a fantasy. Hmm. All right, there we go. We're done. Okay, that's it for today. Whew, we get a lot. Okay. So next time, calendar. Next time is teaching, battle, maybe teaching, maybe more battle, fishing, fish of. Oh god, the fish of mystery. The fish of mystery. We gotta get that fish. We gotta get that fish. We're running out of chances to get that damn fish. We're hunting for the killer. We're running out of chances to get that damn fish. So, so we're gonna fight, and then we're gonna do more. Exploring and then whatever the hell here. I guess we're doing exploring again. Now we can't. What's this one? Pressing students together? I'm not worried about that. Okay. Okay, so that's it for today. I had fun. Hope you have fun watching. That's what's all about. It. Having fun. Thanks for coming by and see you next time. Oh, I still gotta do the freak. <laughs> oh, God. We gotta train our character. Ooh, I almost forgot that part. Ooh, I'm gonna do that now, real quick. Because I'm gonna forget, and then we're just gonna not use the things. So, oh, go do that real quick. Hey, you. Who teaches swords that's actually here? Eloise is gone, Catherine's gone. Manuela teaches nice. swords. Alright, teach me. Thank you. There we go. She can only teach one, though. Ugh, okay. I don't think anyone else teaches swords. The Sedith teach swords? We can't. I've all. You're a. You teach bows. Ah, okay. Ray and Sedith aren't gonna teach me what I need. Seriously, the one time I need to learn swords, no one who teaches swords is around. Me. Gerald's not here either. I, I, forget just know. I can't learn from Gerald. He's. Oh, she teaches swords. Thank God. That's a clue. She's Saros, I think. That's a clue. Damn it. Good. Ugh. That's gotta be a clue, clue she's Saros, because she uses a sword. Both, it was as if thinking how they met. He teaches swords too? Thank god. Alright, there we go. Almost where I need to be. I don't think Cyril can teach me. Anyone else who can teach me? Henneman. That's all the teachers that are present, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, prayer singing, and then that's it. Can I make it Sedith and Flane? I want to make it Sedith and Flane. Can I make it Sedith and Flane? Sedith? Flane, Flane, Flane. Yes, I can! Okay, here we go. May my song reach the goddess in the sky. Ah, oh, nothing special. It is so much fun to sing with others. Darn. He's like, I've always been the good singer. Sedith has been terrible always. So I have to sing over him. Sister, you wound me. Ah, right, that's it. Okay. Whoa, there's a support conversation. Ah! Oh, it's with Flane. Oh. That'll be next time. See you, everybody. See you next. See you. See you. See you. We've already gone over. See you.